saying that it's for corporate officers and salaried managers, not hourly associates. They told News Nation in part, quote, while the company does not agree with all of the views that were presented, we have found these sessions to be thought provoking and constructive. Uh, obviously, it's hard to get executives at Walmart to speak candidly and on the record about these things. So we bring in Jonathan Butcher, education fellow at the Heritage uh, Foundation. Uh, well, it'd be kind of interesting if they believed all of those things, I guess. But uh, what does it say about where we're at that Walmart feels compelled to pay a lot of money for this training? Well, there's big money in diversity trainings. I mean, we're talking about an $8 billion a year industry. Uh, what's important to know, though, is that the research that's been performed on the success or effectiveness of diversity trainings has found that they are ineffective. They don't change people's behaviors or attitudes. And in some cases, they even make people feel resentful going backwards and having the reverse effect that these diversity trainings are supposed to have. Yeah, it's, it, when you read some of those quotes, if you're somebody who uh, believes in meritocracy and believes it in sort of the goodness of America, we, we're not perfect, uh, and the founders acknowledge that in order to form a more perfect union, not a perfect union, uh, it, does, it does make you angry. As you say, big money in this, $8 billion a year, obviously Walmart didn't spend anything close to that, but how much of this for big corporations is buying an insurance policy that if they get accused of racism, they go, oh, no, no, we've spent so much in racial equity training. Well, I don't know how that they could make an argument that would go very far with that line of thinking. I mean, the fact is that what these trainings are doing is they're saying that you are not responsible for your own actions. Uh, you are a victim of the immutable characteristics that you were born with. And so you're a victim, everyone else is a victim, and you cannot, by your behavior, change the way that other people will feel about your sense of oppression or not. And so this is a really dangerous um, attitude and it's a, it's a dangerous thing to happen to our culture because it changes the way that uh, we feel about our own ability to change our futures, um, to have personal agency over our actions, to say that we can lift ourselves up, we can improve our own lives. And yeah. that's what our, our system is based on. Yeah, cl clearly the, all the things you laid out is sort of antithetical to what America is based on. Great conversation, Jonathan. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Dan Abrams is Thank next. You.